Good afternoon guys and welcome back. So if you guys want to get your knobs off from inside your Jeep, you guys have come to the right place. Now you guys know what I'm talking about, I'm not getting about getting your knobs off, I'm talking about getting your knobs off. So if you're after a aftermarket gear knob for your Jeep or you're looking at um, doing something special to the factory one or just something that we haven't heard of, let me know in the comments below what you guys are doing. For me, um, at the moment, we in the next couple of videos, we'll be showing you how to place it up and change up a few interior things inside your Jeep. Um, so I thought changing up the gear knobs is one of those things that the aftermarket ones are quite expensive. Uh, but I thought I'd show you guys how to remove the factory Jeep JK gear knob. Pretty sure it's the same for all JK years. It might be the same for the uh, JL as well. The TJ is different. The TJ has got like a little thread um, in it. This one's kind of like a little clip. Um, so it's if it's the first time you are taking this knob off it's going to be hard uh, now i thought i was trying to do it one way yesterday and i was like that ain't working i got up on the center console and i was pulling i was pulling pulling i was pulling my knob off so hard that it actually got blisters in my hand now you guys might be laughing and comment below but it's true i was trying to pull this knob off um, and it just wasn't working um, and i was looking through some other videos um, and i was looking through those videos and a lot of people were saying what you do is get a screwdriver um, and poke it up in this little gap here at the top pop that off um, and the same at the bottom there um, And there's like a little clip inside here that you kind of like spring forward and now nah. what's that going to do is actually damage um, This part of your gear knob here and at the bottom. So if you are replacing your gear knob um, With a aftermarket one and you've got no necessity for the factory one a lot of people will sell them um, Some people might have wrecked ones uh, might have wrecked theirs one somehow just over time um, and they're looking for a factory one if that's the case sell your one if you're going aftermarket you can get some money back and they're still going for like 45 bucks 60 bucks the lighting on here is so bad guys sorry but this will save your gear knob it won't wreck it um which a lot of people end up doing taking their gear knobs off so as i said it's got like a little clip um i'll show you when we actually do take it off but i tried one way that people were saying oh yeah do it this way do it this way and i tried that and it did not work for me if it did work for you guys, let me know. If this is different for the newer JKs, let me know as well. This is the old one with the old interior, which is 2007 to 2012. So this has worked for me. Uh, hopefully it's gonna work for you guys as well. So everybody will probably have one of these at home. If you don't, they're like $15 from uh, Super Cheap Auto or any sort of automotive shop. So what this is, is the tool to get your oil filter loose on your Jeep um, or your car, whatever it might be. So what you want to do, my one was clockways, I turned it to be able to crack it. Um, now what you want to do, as you'll see when I take it off, you just have to move it a little bit and that pretty much releases it and then you just have to pull up. So with this, what you do, let me put the camera down in a position where it's easy for you. Pretty sure you guys can see that. So I've got that little uh, pressure thing. Now I found if I put it on there, this rubber part kind of like uh, pulls up. So you kind of want it on the top part where these where the um, kind of bumps are there and all you need to do is pull it nice and tight and just turn it a little bit and you'll kind of feel it crack um, and shift um, beforehand if you're moving it and it's not moving anywhere um, you just have to kind of get on there twist it a little bit until it has a little bit of play in it and all you got to do is pull up so that's what I was trying to do the first time I don't know if you guys can see in there properly it kind of has you guys can't see in there for shit you can't you can't really see in there but inside it um as you can see on the actual shifter or not it's got like a flat edge and a round part on it so pretty sure inside the actual gear knob kind of sits on that square part there um and you can't pull it uh it's got like a little tooth i don't know if you guys can see that or not and there's got a little tooth in there all it's doing it's going past that point on the tooth um allowing you to pull up so to get back on, you can hear it click to pull up and it's just released from that part again. So even if you don't click it back, it's going to still there. Stay there nice and strong. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I struggled for so long. I was swearing, I was struggling. My hands are sore trying to pull that knob off. <sighs> that sound a bit funny, doesn't it? Anyway, all you got to do, if you don't have one, $15 from an automotive shop, saves your knob uh, from being damaged. Nobody likes a damaged knob. Um, and then all you got to do is pull up and you got the knob off and um, you can actually see where it's like kind of clipping in If I can, can we find a better shot of that? Probably not Anyway, so if you guys want to do aftermarket gear knobs um, 
do that. But in the next video, I'll be showing you guys how to place your different parts inside your interior, interior, and we might be doing something special with this as well. I haven't decided. But if you guys got any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Um, but that's pretty much it for today, guys. Let me know if you guys found this video helpful by smashing the like button, and if you haven't already, smashing that subscribe button as well. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for watching. I'll see. Oh, I'll stuff that up. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.